Now, this is another highlights of Arsenal players on international duty, and we've got two special ones for you today. Um, yes, I've got a few clips on other players that perform well, but I've got two special videos that we're going to be looking reacting to in this video, international duty. So we also have Gabby Martinelli and it's a special theme to see defenders clipping the ball over the top. First we see it with Leandro, now we've seen it for Brazil. It's a cutback and Gabriel Martinelli is there to have a toe poke. It's not as flashy, it's not as luxurious as tr the Trussard goal, but a goal is a goal and Martinelli is off the mark again with another goal for um, Brazil. So well done to Gabriel Martinelli on his international goal scoring form. So now and having a nice little tapping, right? and see Odegaard in the midfield just controlling dictating play you see we know it we know what Odegaard is like we know the little swivel the little steps the little movements and he kept on doing it in this match yes Odegaard once again dictating play controlling doing the little turns I love it we love to see it we've been sport with that the all um all way in the season some season you see Odegaard having a bad um bad run of matches in whether it's the beginning of the season or the end of the season but last season oh unlucky beautiful ball though last season it was just top top class of bodyguard so yeah look at him yeah nice pass he's waiting for that little gap to open and then when he finally opened he got the ball through he's, he's, he's this guy he's beautiful man the way he plays football is just beautiful oh man nice pass was prepared for that one two but he didn't get it back what is he gonna do here oh unlucky it, 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 it came it came around for him but that was unlucky that was a poor touch there but yeah Odegaard once again just wrote you see the runners I can see the runners in my peripheral I know Odegaard seen that as well that's a poor pass you see Haaland is, is vex looking scanning looking for a pass what is he gonna do Scanning, scanning, nice little chip ball. That's a bit poor, but Haaland made the best of it. Good corner. Good Play deep. Now you see him in the little attacking third of the game. And that's what we see for Arsenal. Iman Saka and Ben White right in that position right there. But for for, 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 for his country, for somehow he's always in the defensive side, like building up from defence. Most of the time. Nice little touch there. You see him in attacking mid right now. Right now, back again, defensive, um, build up. What is that? That should have been a shot, but brilliant pass. What a pass, though. That's a pass, but that should have you should have shot there, Odegaard, man. Nice play, looking for the wing. Spreading it. Nice pass. Yeah, we've seen this time and time again from Odegaard this season for Arsenal. He's, he's a special player, man. I love him. I love the way he play. Look at this silky smooth. Nice play. Just attracting defenders. The defenders don't know where to go to stick to to run. They don't know what to do. Nice pass to Highland. He's not that technically gifted. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Ah, oh, man, he just so he just makes everything look so easy at his own speed, at his own pace. He doesn't rush for anyone. And that's something I was very critical of him for in the early years at Arsenal. He's just, for me, he was a bit too lazy. There was no eagerness sometimes, but that will change. Brilliant goal for Alan. Brilliant as well. But brilliant pass. Brilliant pass. Alan knows about it as well. Swiveling, turning, looking for um, space or looking for passes. Yeah, man. On the guard. Scanning. Nice little pass, receive it, dribbling, looking for, uh, you could have taken that shot on, man. These are something I want to see other guys, bag, bag it with your right, just bag it, lace it with your right, put your foot through it, it's not all the time you're going to be in the box looking to pass, defenders are going to easily uh, read your game, now it's because this opposition that he's playing against might be, take you a bit easier, but against bigger opposition, you need to do more of so even though Norway lost, um, Odegaard still had a good display for me. Anyways, he still performed well. He done what he could do in a team like Norway. Um, yes, I know they've got they've got a new um, some good players coming through that could um, basically play with Odegaard. But Odegaard is such a special talent. He needs quality around him to perform at his best. We see Haaland is there as, as well. Haaland scored one of them, them goals that he set up. But Odegaard needs better players in midfield to be playing better than this. And especially to inspire... Um, 
um, Norway to winning uh, a trophy or anything like that. It needs better players. So they're getting some through, but Odegaard needs more. But so far, brilliant, brilliant match from Odegaard. Now we on to the next one. Straight away, you see what I'm on. You see what I'm on. It's William Saliba. Big boss, Willie. Yeah, so he had a superb match. He actually won man of the match, surprisingly, um, knowing that his manager don't like him. He, he, literally, his manager doesn't like him. He doesn't fancy him in the team. I've seen him basically starting to warm up to Saliba because it's like, I don't think he can deny him anymore. Look at this brilliant play. I think these are the things that Deschamps is scared of. The risky players there, but he's got, he's got the confidence to do that. He's got this, the, the, this pace to get back as well, the strength to get back. I don't worry about things like that, man. But Saliba had a man of the match performance and I'm happy because he's someone that I believe that should be one of the first name on that international team sheet out of everyone that plays for Arsenal. But he's like, he's the, he, the one of the best players, if not the best player for Arsenal. Can't get an international team. That's mad. Considering we conceded the least goal in the Premier League last season and he's very instrumental. One of the main reasons that we've done that. And he can't get into the French. And it's not that the French, the French, the French defence is so good that he can't get in. It's just the manager does not fancy him. So William Saliba just playing it simple. Sometimes you see him dribbling in midfield. Just passing it from side to side. Driving sometimes. But cutting, looking for passing, cutting the passing, uh, looking for passing lanes. Look at the brick. Um, some passing lanes as well. Nice challenge there. Yeah, he's, he's very assured defended by William Saliba in this match. Nice strength, passing on. Nice defending. Well done, son. Didn't even give away the corner. Corner, give away a, a, a throw in. Nice defense. That's a last ditch challenge. If he if he had that done that, that would have uh, meant a sure goal for France. That would have been a sure goal for Canada, I should say. Brilliant challenge once again. Nice front foot challenge. Beautiful pass. Getting your defender in trouble there, Willie, but I'm cool with that. Nice, nice, and a nice challenge. Nice. The confidence in Saliba right now is unbelievable. And I actually heard him say that he's getting better and better um, in, uh, in terms of confidence for this national team. Once again, another last ditch challenge. Protecting the scoreline. Yeah. That's two goals Saliba himself prevented. Yeah, so to get man of the match, play, the, play with good defenders as well, keeping out good defenders out of the team, I'm proud of Saliba, man. And hopefully this is just the beginning of, of good things to come because we know that Saliba is one of the best centre-back in the world, definitely the best in the Prem. Um, so to play for the national team, he should be up there. I don't really mind because then he will be much more fit for Arsenal next season. But I love it when players have their own targets, have their own agenda, have their own dreams and they work hard at it and then get a reward at the end. And I believe that for playing um, um, club uh, club matches, every player wants to represent their country. Every player wants to represent their country in the biggest stages. And Euro is a big stage. And we, I know that William Saliba want to participate in it and, and base potentially help his team to win a trophy. So on that side, um, I'm happy for Saliba. He's putting up some good performances. Hopefully it continues and then lead over to next season for the Arsenal. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Help me on my journey to 10,000 subs. Goodbye.